in retrospect, how much of that, what we saw Saturday emotion-wise from you guys was kind of that rallying effect after what happened with Todd? And, and how do you, do you, do you try and replicate any of that this week? Yeah, I think just as far as kind of my, um, you know, my speech before the game and was just kind of all natural from the heart. I mean, I don't really ever give a speech before the game anyways, but um, I knew the significance of this game. And I didn't really know really, as far as 75 other guys, what they're thinking, you know, or are they thinking, you know, shoot, we don't have Todd, we're kind of in trouble, or are they thinking we can do this? So I really just kind of wanted to say something from my heart, and, um, you know, it came out pretty good, and I don't know how much of that had an effect on our performance. Um, more so than it was just guys being prepared and doing their job at a high level. But, uh, you know, we won, so. That's going to anticipate having a lot back in games playing with you guys this season. You know, man, I know you guys, you guys ask, ask us players this a lot, but really as much as y'all know is what I know. Um, you know, I'm not on social media, and so that's really, like, where everything kind of comes out and, you know, you get everybody's resources and information. So, um, you know, and Co Coach Rick only told us in a team meeting, you know, that Todd was suspended indefinitely. So I don't really know what's going on much. And uh, everything that I hear from his situation is either through another player that they hear on social media. So, um, you know, I know the only thing I know is that the NCAA said that they were going to make a uh, ruling this week on his eligibility. Um, so that's really all I know. We didn't hear that. Did you hear that, that from like another player? Or like uh, player? Yeah, I mean, I I, uh, I heard that from another player, and I was pretty sure that they heard that on the, the internet. That the uh, NCAA said they were going to make an announcement this week on about it. I may be wrong. I don't know. How much uh, confidence does this past Saturday give you as a team? So certainly you believed everything you said before the game, but having it actually realized on the field, is that to help? Uh, I assume it's a pretty big confidence boost going into this next one. Well, I mean, um, you know, the funny thing about it is statistically it has been kind of like every other game for me. I mean, 150 yards, TD here, TD there. Um, so, I mean, we, we threw the ball a little bit more, and, but the thing about it was is we were a lot better on third down and uh, than we have been in the past, which I think allowed me to get into more of a rhythm. When you're, you know, only on the field for three plays, three and out, it's hard to get into a rhythm. So I think us being really good on third down uh, on Saturday allowed me to, allowed us to throw the ball more, allowed us to extend drives more, which allowed me to get into a better rhythm. And I think a lot about playing quarterback is just kind of being out there and, and feeling the game, the game coming natural to you and, and uh, being confident and uh, feeling like you're in the rhythm. And that's where I finally felt like I was on Saturday. How are you guys managing the tailback reps in practice with obviously Todd's out there? Yeah, I mean, most of them are between uh, Chubb and uh, Krimpolis and, and uh, Brandon. How much, how much did Chubb impress you this last week? I mean, he seemed to step in and, and you guys didn't skip a beat in the running game. What did you think about that? Yeah, I mean, I knew going into the game that uh, obviously Chubb is, you know, we, we could still win with with uh, Chubb there. And you, know, you just kind of worry about um, – how many times can he carry the ball? And before that, going into the game, I, you know, I didn't, I would never guess they would have got the ball 38 times. And even during the game, I didn't even realize that he had, he was getting the ball that much. I think someone said to me that after the first quarter, he had it carried it 20 some times. Um, so, you know, I, the only thing I kind of remember is him just taking some hard licks and getting back up. And so, um, you know, he's just a tough cat. Uh, you know, a lot of times I forget and kind of don't really appreciate what a guy. That, this young is doing in the SEC. Uh, you know, an 18-year-old kid who just graduated high school, he's kind of carrying the team on his back for such a young guy. Um, it's pretty remarkable and pretty incredible. A lot of people talk about Chubb, but your numbers are pretty good themselves. What felt good for you out there? Because you've had a pretty solid game yourself. I mean, I think just finally feeling like I got into a rhythm. Um, you know, I think our longest pass play of the day was only 13 yards, but, you know, we just kind of did what we normally do um, as far as, you know, run first and then play action pass after it, but we were a lot more consistent on third down, which allowed us to extend drives. And we had four eight play drives for touchdowns, which is awesome. You know, I mean, you, uh, there's a lot of defenses that will just quit after eight plus plays. Um, and so we, we felt like we did a pretty good job of imposing our will.